They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but there are no words to adequately describe what happened today. What was supposed to be a Cowboys celebration, the greatest hour for loyal fans, turned to chaos when violence erupted in downtown Dallas. Good evening and thank you for joining us. There are still a lot of questions tonight about what happened after the Cowboys ticker tape parade today. This much we can explain. City planners somehow grossly underestimated the turnout. 400,000 people showed up instead of 100,000. That means that there were only one police officer assigned for every 1,000 people. Result? Pushing, shoving, fighting, looting, and random violence that soiled the day of celebration for the Cowboys. Texas News 5's Cliff Caldwell begins our coverage tonight. From Chapter 5, you can see how a group gathered. Blows were exchanged, and the culprits faded away into the West End crowds. Elsewhere, a girl knocked down is kicked and beaten. After being helped up, she did not run away, only to be beaten again. Before our photographer was pushed away, you can see the victim's head snap back from the blows. He's the white guy in the middle of the crowd. By the time we got back, he lay motionless on the sidewalk, bleeding from a head wound. Police grabbed one young man, wrestling him to the ground, then apparently arrested another one in the crowd. Harvard Brown says outnumbered police had to wait for help before wading in the fist fight. But there were so many people, they couldn't do nothing. They were Jesus. They stayed back over there. Despite the overwhelming numbers, police made 24 arrests of both young men and women. That's who started this fight we saw from our perch in the parking deck of the Texas club. They just started hitting all of us for no reason. They started telling us stuff and we're just trying to walk away and they just started hitting us. The fight continued, eventually out into the street where several other young men beat this man as he sprawled on the hood of a car, unable to move. A television news photographer, Tim Hamilton, was also injured. Witnesses say he was videotaping a fight when he was hit with a wine bottle. And all of a sudden, you see this swarm of young guys just coming after him. Elsewhere, less violent teens hung out of bus windows and threw the emergency escape hatches on the roof. Evidence the city was perhaps unprepared to deal with today's crowds. Cliff Caldwell, Texas News 5. This is Ramona Logan. The victims of the violent attacks were left bloodied, battered, and stunned. Emergency crews responded to dozens of calls for help from people who had been assaulted. Even the children were not immune when the violence broke out. They were victims too. The injuries included the walking wounded who were treated at the scene. The wife got hit in the back of the head with a bottle. Oh, really? Yeah. What, were you, what was happening? There, and they was robbing people. We were just standing there looking amongst the crowd, and next thing I knew, a bottle just flew out from nowhere and just hit me in the back. More than 30 people were taken to the hospital. Most were treated and released, but 10 remained hospitalized, including Juan Martinez. So trying to take my hand away. Man, I just started fighting over there. He can't believe that the Cowboy celebration ended this way. Neither can Gilbert Martinez. He ended up with seven stitches over his eye as he fought to protect his family who was attacked while they rode in their pickup truck. I was just trying to get out of there um, as fast as possible and, you know, trying not to create any more tension than what there was already. So just to basically just to get out of there, you know, alive, <laughs> basically because, you know, there was fights left and right. Body that marred was started as a giant sense of unity. Ramona Logan, Texas News 5.